Hello, this is our second video in the series of the videos on the playlist on sockets. In this video we will implement the TCP server and the connection between PC and uh, ESP32 when on ESP32 installed server in the ESP IDF 5.0 environment and we will send a post command from the PC and uh, expect the reply from the server and the difference here is that we will be used a socket TCP socket connection and regarding our sources we are using a lightweight TCP IP stack here the explanation is pretty brief and uh, the examples are pretty good so you can uh, see it by example we are uh, referring to the TCP server example here but uh, in this example they, they want to show different type of connections like IP4 and IP6 uh, here you see IP6 and IP4 and uh, different type of uh, error handling and in this way it's a little bit more difficult to understand what we are doing uh, we simplify as much as we can and inside Sims IoT devices repositories in this socket repository we are talking about second file TCP socket server here with the post command from the Windows PC to the ESP32 uh, socket server connection it's a mistake here uh, so inside TCP socket server you, um, TCP server we are copy this code inside our editor and how this program is built we are continuing with our standard set of includes we define the port for example 3333 and here we have see the difference to the HTTP connection where the port was 80 by definition here we can choose our port uh, this is the only function which implement implements the TCP socket connection here we'll talk about it uh, and uh, here's two functions for Wi-Fi connection implementation Wi-Fi connection and Wi-Fi handler where the main is a Wi-Fi connection establishment we just wait to receive the uh, proper IP and then we create the TCP server connection so we'll talk mostly on this function here okay let's uh, uh, flash it and uh, here we define different strings and uh, parameters we are working only on the IP4 when we define a wildcard for the IP address we define our IP4 and we define the port uh, in this structure which is uh, applicable to IP4 only here we starting and opening the socket where when this parameter defines a TCP communication SOC stream and 0 is for TCP protocol um, after the creation we bind the socket with our uh, with our structures that we defined here with the IP address and then we start to listen to the uh, to the socket as a server uh, here you can see that the program was compiled and we have the relevant uh, IP here for the server and socket is listening now while the socket is listening we can accept different commands 
and uh, after accepting a comment we will send the response here we construct the string according to our previous video with the header and the response the reason that here we divide it on two different strings in order to calculate automatically the string length because this thing is important in order to send data after we know the string length and the string with the header we will send it via socket connection that we defined previously let's see okay we will uh, use curl command to perform a post command on this ip here and here and to the defined port specific port we received the reply from the server and we see that this server is still listening so we can send once again and it was our first time we can send it once again the second time and we also re have a reply and we can search it for the third time okay now we have a three times a reply and the server is still listening um, so basically we just performing here this uh, this uh, uh, while when we are listening to the socket receive a, receive a data and send response this this response back uh, in this video you have seen the implementation of tcp server on esp32 with the post command sent from the windows pc via wi-fi connection to the ESP32. Thank you.